is Valentine's Day this week and I sound a bit like a Joey Patton whilst being in Marseille so basically I am now going to stop speaking like this and speak normally yes it's Valentine's week hope you're all feeling very romantic I am feeling extremely romantic I haven't shaved for a couple of days just roughing myself up and had a young person's haircut and I'm feeling very romantic so I hope you are too Remember, you can get some lovely Valentine's treats from my shop. No, you can't. You can get golf stuff, which is probably better than roses and chocolates anyway. So, what's been happening this week? We have been smashed by Storm Kira or Kiara or something like that. But it's been quite wild. The golf course has been shut, but the lab has been busy. Speaking of the lab, we have some wonderful new things to show you like good morning and welcome to the putting lab here at east Kilbride golf club i'm graham bell and it's horrible outside not good for golf out there but certainly good for golf in here we're going to be doing a little test on the triple track technology from odyssey so basically it's an alignment aid when we measure people on sand putt lab we see a lot of players that struggle to align the putter address so let's test it and see how good it is. Well, that's pretty good. So, nearly perfect at the start. So that's really what I'm looking at at the moment. These gray areas are where the best players in the world fall. So I'm obviously one of them, just for one part. Uh, so this technology does have mileage. Now, you've got to take into account the loft of the putter, length, weight, uh, lie angle, a lot of parameters, grip, everything. So when we fit for putters, test your putter, then we're going to go through all those things. So it may be raining outside, but we are still having fun inside. So the triple track from Odyssey is worth a shot. So what I want to tell you is what makes us different yes the stubble the new haircut but apart from that why should you come and see us well here's a little thing i did in the lab um just a little explanation of golf shafts and why we are different very very different so enjoy buddy and welcome to the Bells newsletter this week. We are in the golf lab. I'm just flitting about different premises. So we're here to talk to you about these things behind me. Shafts, or in this case, driver shafts. So you get a lovely new driver, okay? Now, the technology as we discussed with the sim helps off center strikes. It does. Now what if I said to you that we could change that strike location right, and make it easier for you to get the best numbers off of a driver? Now, you guys have probably just said stiff or regular when it comes to a golf shaft. Now, excuse the pun, one person stiff is another person soft. Manufacturers don't agree on how flexible a shaft will be to be classified stiff or regular or firm. The reason being is it's very, very expensive to do this. So what they'll do is they'll say, this is stiff, but to be honest, it'll be stiff in different parts of the club. So first of all, you have to understand how the shaft is made. Uh, better quality shafts are more expensive because they use more rolls of graphite than they do glue. Okay, so that's the first part. Now, when I, fit people we use different lengths of shaft right so you can have manufacturers putting out 45 and three quarter inch shafts right okay guys and two don't always use that long and they're very skilled at hitting the sweet spot of the driver uh, we try different weights of shaft as well different torques but if you're somebody that really struggles with your driver I would look at strike location on the foresight quad uh, and try you with different weights, different flexes, 
different lengths, different torques, uh, and different swing weights of the driver as well. But where you go for fittings, mostly you're not going to get these options, and it does make a difference. So we cover all these options. Uh, but if you're just going out and saying I need a stiff shaft, now I've put somebody off 26 and an extra stiff shaft. <gasps> Phone, sue me. No. It's not about that, it's about how it performs in practice, uh, how you load the shaft, how, how, how you feel it. So getting fitted with a, a standard operation is just pretty poor. Uh, and there's no excuse for it these days, you know, you can do a better job and that's what we do here. So different lengths, have you ever tried them? You know, I know a lot of people go for fitness and didn't even try the different length of shaft. It's mental. So you want to experience what you should experience and come and see us.